Hi, I'm Melissa Zavala, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about four things that I've learned from real estate coach Brian Buffini that can really help you be a better real estate agent. So as I said, I'm Melissa Zavala, a, real, a writer, real estate broker, and trainer, and you can check out more from me at melissazavala.com. And I'm really enthralled with some of the great things that Brian Buffini offers agents, and they can really teach you how to be better at what you do. One of the uh, four things which is huge with, uh, with Brian Buffini is he talks a lot about peaks and valleys in your business. So times when you're cruising and you're making a lot of money, those would be peaks, and then valleys are times when you haven't worked uh, on your business, so now you don't have a, not, a lot of things going on, a lot of leads that you've generated, so those would be valleys in your income in your business. So John Wooden said, all of life is peaks and valleys. Don't let the peaks get too high and the valleys get too low. And one of the ways that you can definitely avoid that is by focusing on business processes and not outcomes. So by continuing daily to do your same regimented activities that ultimately will lead to long-term success, um, and if you focus on those as opposed to how much money am I going to make or when am I going to get my next listing, um, you will be more successful. So more specifically, that would be like um, making X number of calls per day and focusing less on uh, when that money is going to come in and more on just doing it every day, every day, every day. So that would include marketing activities, lead gen, prospecting, things like that. Second thing I've learned from Brian Buffini is that the 80-20 that rule is actually a, a real thing. So if you're familiar, probably already familiar with the 80-20 rule, that means that 20% um, of effort generates 80% of things. So for in the Pareto Principle, for example, and this is where this comes from, it was discovered that 20% um, of the pea pods had 80% of the peas and 20% of the cows created 80% of the milk. And the same thing goes for your business. So... Um, 20% of your business will come from people that you don't know and 80% will come from people that you already know. So as a result of that, it's really a good idea to focus on people that you already know. So a uh, key thing that um, is huge with Brian Buffini is working your referral business, working with people that you already know. Some um, factions call those Mets versus not yet Mets. So uh, but the, the key is really to grow your database with friends, family, business affiliates, anyone you know from schools, clubs, religious organizations, who else can you add to your database that you already know? So in doing that, you can focus on people that you already know, which is where your 80% of your business is likely going to come from anyway. And a third thing that um, Brian Buffini talks about, which is huge, is taking those people that you already know and giving to them, that it's way better to give than to receive. So to, um, to create a long-term uh, plan of top of mind awareness. It's a good idea to regularly be giving items of value to your leads to, con to continue that type of mind awareness. So those would be things like home buyer information, home valuations, market updates, local area and community news. You want, for example, that if you're sending an email to people that you already know, that they're opening the email, that it that they say, oh, I always want to get your emails because they are all they always have helpful information that helps me um, be more engaged with the real estate market or to just to just or their community or whatever they're really, really looking for. So identifying that and providing items of value that can help you to sustain that top of mind awareness is going to be a huge coup for your real estate business. And the fourth thing that I've uh, learned from Brian Buffini is that you, re you really want to create a business that allows you to have choice. So this means that you're going to have to focus on those processes rather than outcomes and have uh, and no more peaks and valleys in your business so that you have always lots of business coming in. The phone is always ringing because of both your inbound and outbound marketing techniques. And you have so much business that if there's someone that maybe is a little special that you're not hitting it off with, you can then refer that to someone else in your office or another colleague. And you can really, really focus on having choice in how you want to run your business and the type of business that you take in. So you want to be able to just say no, for example, to the wrong kind of business. The someone that's going to take you 
a hundred hours to put them into a home versus someone that's really, really motivated to go out looking and maybe they only need to look at uh, five or 10 homes before they make a decision. It's going to be an easier sell. So wouldn't it be nice to have that much business that you can just say no to those special people that kind of impede your ability to be successful? And that's a great thing that uh, Brian Buffini talks about. So I would definitely suggest that you look at some of Brian Buffini's um, coaching programs and the tools that he has. A lot of stuff is free, and then he all he does travel throughout the United States giving speeches, and all, uh, oftentimes those are available to real estate professionals through um, like video and things like that. So if you're looking for ways to increase your business, definitely check out Brian Buffini, who you can find at Brian uh, Buffini and Company dot com, and definitely. Carpe Diem, you've got to seize the day. It's a really great market right now, and we all want to be successful at what we do. So I'm Melissa Zavala. You can find me at melissazavala.com and email me at info at melissazavala.com, or you can communicate with me via Twitter or Facebook. Have a great day.